Yeah, you're right. I don't know. Godwinson does crazy shit like that all the time. Lied to his audience. He was engaged and had a baby on the way for months. Pretended he was cheating on his fiance with Elaine. Yeah, he's mad because I brought Elaine on here and just absolutely demolished him. And in a way that he could never even respond to. And she just, like, totally mocked him and laughed at him. And, well, I did that because he fucked with me. And I don't regret it. I'll do it again. But the things she said were all true. <laughs> the things he made up about my mother, um, yeah, I'll never, I'll never fuck with him again. And uh, he can join Medicare in the grave for all I give a fuck. So I don't talk about it much because I have so much on my plate anyway. It's not worth some back and forth with that nutty faggot. But, yeah, he's dead to me. Uh, and the sooner he's dead in real life, the better, as far as I'm concerned. So... Um, you know, when he said, and the other stuff he said, whatever, you know, I can let that stuff go, but the shit he said about my mom, no way, never, I'll never fuck with that guy again, and, you know, he could get, get medicare tomorrow, and I wouldn't give a fuck, so. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't really check his, his Twitter, so I couldn't say, but, yeah, he is, he is a a ball washer of the fat fuck. It's the drugs, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but, you know, the shit he said about me um, and, like, presented it as if it was fact, it would, no way, like, no way, no how would I ever, somebody wanted me to get on stream. Perspic, I'm still cool with. And I know he's still cool with Goms, and that's fine. I don't give a fuck. But I, somebody wanted me to call into their stream uh, a week or two ago. I would never go on stream with Goms again as long as I live, uh, unless it was his funeral stream. So, like, never. So, that's just my personal stance. Is that what they did? Cinema says their last stream was mid. They basically begged Brian to come back. Are you serious? New Age says, mid is generous. Their entire comment section was eating them alive. Yeah, I don't want anything to do with any of that. That did happen, yes. Are you serious? That's pathetic. <laughs> yeah, that's pathetic, and I want nothing to do with any of that. So, if that's if that's the route, uh, first off, I wouldn't have anything to do with Gowanson in the first place. But um, if that's the route they're going down, then that's retarded. Now, maybe they were trolling or whatever, but... Wow, Brian blowing them out in the comment section, actually. How is this possible? Of course, he wrote an entire novel. Are you serious? How does this happen? Pretty sure they just wanted him to spurg on stream, but it was a bad look. Well, he wrote a novel in the comments instead. Dude, it it got the most likes out of any other comment. I'm not one to defend King of Hall. I um, probably won't start today. <laughs> this is literally the worst stream I've ever heard. Quit the se quit the sector, perspective. You're blanked here. Well, again, I'm, you know, I made peace with Perspic. I'm not going to go at him, but, like, Sector hitting the retirement home arc, regaling over old gator tails and the rock, regaling over old gator tails and the rocking chairs. Thanks for covering the same three-plus-year-old content again. Almost forgot it from last time. Why would Gator need to live with his parents when he lives in Perspic's head rent-free? Damn. Brian won. Godwinson is a bomb. Elaine scared him off the internet. The owl bit was funny, though. LOL. I feel like showing Gator for five minutes on screen, his face and nasty hair, sad voice, glazing of Ralph, says everything we need to say to shit on him for three hours. It's like beating a guy in a wheelchair.
washed when Sin got dumped by Elaine and she bullied him off the internet. Perspic tried to be the next Gator, but realized he lacked the talent. Sad, pathetic sea stream. Damn. Again, I'm not reading these to, to shit on Perspic. I will read them to shit on Gobinson, but damn. These are kind of brutal. Sad, pathetic sea stream. I got to read Brian's, though. His is wild. The stream is just... There are a few decent comments. There, there's a few positive comments, but not many. <laughs> Dizzlep sent $20. Mr. Munchausen is always watching the cold stream. That's true. And thank you, Dizzle P. He is always watching. He's watching right now, I guarantee The stream is just low energy drama slop. It's just a shame because it seems like there are some unique callers who are willing to spice up the stream, even if it's the QA guys acting like schizospergs or controversial idiots like KOP. Why not bring them on? It's not like there's a shortage of e drama commentary streams. Have some fun and let the callers spread chaos. And then Perspic said they do come on. I don't know. I didn't watch it. I have no interest in watching anything with Goblinson on it. So. <laughs> I did go on Perspic stream a few weeks ago. I still like Perspic Casty. You know, he was a good friend of me during a tough time. But, um, yeah, I don't fuck with Gonson. This is King of Paul's novel here. Okay, starting this up. The comment section seems to indicate this stream was utter trash. Full review in a couple hours. I'm going to make a prediction. Perspic doesn't take callers. It's just Perspic being hyperbolic and seething at irrelevant shit that doesn't matter or old news. Perspic has still not repented. That's his little gimmick or whatever. Also, it's getting cold in here. Edit. You are delusional if you think I am socking in your shit sub viewer, sub 50 viewer stream about something I 100% know more about than you, Perspic. Calm down and actually try to run a show. Oh, wow, rehab. Let Adam out now, and now I'm hearing that Perspic tried to sex surfer LML. I don't know that there's any truth to that, by the way, but Perspic deflects his homosexual behavior onto me in many such cases. Well, there are some such cases with you too, Brian. I... Brian, 100% socks. What a gaslighting king. Yeah, he does, obviously. That's, that's another tall tale, but... Adam speaks about nothing of substance. It's clear he's checked out. Nobody seems interested in asking him why he banned the word Elaine in all of his chats. We finally get into this TXT Gator interview. Two losers who can't break two viewers gaslight each other on how they aren't losers. News at 11. <laughs> Paul saying like fucking five years. <laughs> That's why I didn't go over it. Somebody I know is trying to get me to snipe it. I'm like, I'm not sniping that trash. Like, who gives a fuck? It just gives it more attention. Nobody was watching it in the first place. They're going over a bunch of bullshit from years ago and half of it's false anyway like why would i broadcast that on my own airwaves like fuck that and then they're like well people like you shitting on gator and this and that i'm like yeah well maybe they do but i don't want to give this more attention like fuck that like it's retarded both those people suck and no uh rare adam w perspic unable to understand adam is just there to clearly mock him gets bullied by adam Adam, now seething he is not allowed around his kid and actually cheated on his wife with Elaine, needs to make things personal randomly because he failed at life. Okay, this is bizarre. Randomly, Adam and the co-host here seem to believe Ralph is better without someone, tarred wrangling him, admitting to both being gunt lickers and gunt hanger-on types. They almost forget they both worked for Ralph. Well, they didn't work, but... Worked for Ralph, and Adam went to Cozy.TV to suck Fuentes and Alexander, Ali Alexander meet... Well, I don't know if I'm better by myself or not. I don't know. Other people will have to decide that. Godwinson, I honestly don't think I can forgive for what he said about my mother, to be honest. 
I don't really like to take things that personally um, in regards to him because I know he's just like um, everything he says is pretty much fake. But like that one, I did take pretty personally. I have to say, and so I I, I don't really uh, I I don't really think that's one I can get past. So. It's tough because I, I, I always have said Gobinson's funny or can be, and I, I like some of the stuff we did together, but, like, that was just way over the line. That was way over the line. And I said some shit about Perspic that was over the line. I was fucked up, don't remember it, but I went on air and apologized about it and meant that. But I still don't even remember why Gobinson did that. I was kind of in a bad way during that period. I don't remember why he launched that. Uh, attack on me, honestly. I don't know if it was because of the Perspic thing, or I don't remember why he said all those things. But he did. So, yeah, the stream, uh, me and Perspic and Shamu did, that was fun. Because you got Elaine on after he made fun of Pers Persip. Wait, he said that because I got Elaine on. Wait, what? North 3434 sent $3 on Rumble. Ralph a curse and now ancient Mayan powers activated. Tough out there for enemies of the stream. It's very tough. Been away for a week. Hope everything is good. Thank you. Yeah, it's pretty good, I have to say. We had a lot of cog tent the last couple days. Interviews with two of his brothers. I don't remember After after Elaine made fun of Perspic or after I made fun of Perspic? Oh, he called Perspic a house slave on Twitter and you went off on him, if I recall correctly. I can't really remember myself, but I think it was having Trollka on and going at him that caused him to. Oh, yeah, and I had her on because he had called Perspic a house slave or some shit like that. And so I had Elaine on, and she just absolutely destroyed Godwinson. I mean, it was brutal. Let's be real. I mean, anybody who saw that, she just absolutely ate his heart out, and he didn't stream for, like, three months after. So, I mean, it was one of the worst takedowns I've seen in all my years doing this. So... <laughs> It was pretty brutal, actually, and kind of, like, destroyed the whole Godwinson myth. So, yeah, I do remember that stream. She went for the throat. That was uh, that was pretty brutal. And it was, he was the one who elevated her uh, in the first place. So it made it even worse. Yeah, she absolutely. Well, he 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 made her a thing. Yeah, I know. And then she came on the kill stream and just like rip, ripped his heart out on her. Like it was broken. Laughing sent ten dollars. Is this some cooking? Hold on, let me stop. I know it is. I can hear it. Can we hit that extendo? I don't know. We'll see. You're gonna make me hungry. I'm gonna have to go get some fucking food. But yeah, he made her a thing. He's portrayed himself as this Chad, and then she came on and just like defenestrated him. And um, he didn't seem to be able to handle that very well. So. All right, let me finish this and I'll play that Waffins. Now we're on to Gator, Gator Puerto Rican audio for the zillionth time. I'm asleep. So far, this stream is trash. LMFO, the chat is so tapped into making fun of you three and so bored. It's like a wave of tomatoes. Adam and his co-host seem to have turned off chat to try to focus on the Gator interview. Side note, too many pausing moments while Perspic injects his own story of Gator lore instead of listening completely to Gator's interview. Now Adam and his co-host beg for me again in X-Files music, openly admitting they miss me. Snake starts trying to explain how Gator is also a snake. This has... This has to get better. This is tough to get through. So far, I'd recommend people just go listen to the TXT interview instead of this. 
Randomly perspicuous claims I'm a pedophile, but suddenly saying something about me and child sex dolls? What is wrong with you? Repent. Now it's another moment where they admit they miss me and wish I could be back. This is kind of sad. Chad is now claiming Perspix view bots. I don't know if I believe that. I don't think I believe that. But More tomatoes in the chat along with claims that the chat is dead and this is boring. Currently, chat moves about six posts a minute per at best. Looks valid to me. Adam and his co-host confirm they're ignoring the chat. We on to a Kino Casino rant. More seething. Random ranting about the Thorps. Going to quote some chat posts. Yeah, that's all I can take. I'm going to watch Kino Casino. Get QA on. I don't know who that is. Boring. Tomato. Perspic now fanfic hyperbolic voices in his head to claim I'm converting kitty styles to Christ. Chat is chanting KOP. His entire chat is demanding I save this abortion of a podcast. Adam and his co-hosts are begging me now to come back. My sides, my sides are in orbit. This is an ama- This is like an amazing fucking comment. What in the world? In a bold move, Adam admits he would smash Pinecone Girl and Perspic A-logs him by pulling up nudes of her on YouTube in hopes that this awful stream gets flagged down. Rare Perspic W. Perspic now has messed up the audio, so Gator is now looping his words at the chat. Chat seems to be trying to tell Adam and his co-host, but they turned off chat so nobody's listening. Amazing. In a weird move, Perspic attempts to derail chat's criticisms of Adam's show to spam his chat with socks about me. Doesn't seem to work. <coughs> I don't know. Okay, so this is shit. I'm done listening. Adam Edge literally falls asleep midstream due to his mood stabilizer medication the rehab therapist gave him, and Perspic cannot function anymore as the host of the show is asleep. Tuning out now. Summary. Perspic still seething, and clearly the snakes miss the one guy in the room who made things fun and entertaining and chill. Somehow Perspic makes his show worse and worse every stream, and I honestly don't know how it'll get back to normal. Two out of ten, just go watch the Gator interview and not this. Super edit. After someone clipped me the ending of this stream, I had to update. Perspic is so shit at running a drama silly stream that now he's being trolled by Chanboard people with soundboard memes and end bombs. It's never been this over. And Perspic says, Brian isn't watching, by the way. He has no idea what's going on. <laughs> Okay, that's funny, but. <laughs> Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice. <laughs>